Reports of mold making students sick at the University of Arkansas have been circulating for months, but tonight students are speaking out and the university is responding. KNWA's Clarissa Bustamante joins us live in studio with how much of the campus is affected and how the university is handling it all. Clarissa. Right now, Nate, the university is in the process of moving students with mold present in their dorm out of their rooms and into clean ones. Officials say in one case they have even repainted the entire room with antimicrobial paint. It's green and black and who knows whatever else. Freshman Sarah Hampton spotted mold in her University of Arkansas dorm room a few days ago. And according to school officials, she's not the only one. So we've had uh, some calls down in Palmford Hall. Uh, we've also had some calls up in Reed Hall and uh, one call over in the uh, Northwest Quad. Finger says he immediately had the rooms checked by environmental health and safety on campus. But Hampton's case was sent to the Arkansas Department of Health after her mother filed a complaint. The ADH says the only way to solve the problem is to identify the source. Where is the moisture coming from? What is creating that environment that allows the mold to grow? For Sarah, the mold came from water damage that happened nearly two months ago. Now, two trips to the hospital and one trip to the doctor later, she says her sickness from the mold is affecting her schoolwork. Like, and me being so fatigued and just sick and having horrible symptoms, it's, pre it's preventing me from getting like the best grades that I know that I can get. Sarah says she wished the university would have found the mold before she had to. But a university housing representative says the school only caught wind of this because of a Facebook group. Only one report was actually filed. Finger now says all the mold the school says all mold the school has been aware has been made aware of has been cleaned except for one ongoing and investigation in Reed Hall. Live in studio, Clarissa Bustamante, KWA Northwest Arkansas News. Thank you, Clarissa.